Hi, welcome to this next video. Um, I just wanted to uh, show you how to get the best out of chat and conversations within Microsoft Teams. Um, first question I usually get asked is, what's the difference between a chat and a conversation? So the way um, we define that is usually we say, actually, chat is here it is usually a, a, a little less informal it's like a it's more of an instant messaging approach um so here earlier in the chat bit was my messages i sent to and from andy um and they can be very quick um uh, messages um back and forwards with no kind of real um purpose outside that one-to-one -one chat. You can also have it as a group chat, um, up to 100 participants within a group chat. Um, and depending whether that person is within your company or outside of the company depends on the features you may get as you see along the bottom here. Um, so you can see you can click on the formatting uh, uh, icon and then uh, you can make uh, you can write some text in there. You can make that bold. Um, you can, you know, italic, etc. Um, and format your messages that way. Uh, you've then got uh, some delivery options where you can say it's a standard message, uh, an important message where it will just be flagged as important. Or this is actually sometimes useful, urgent. So the re recipient of that message will get notified every two minutes for 20 minutes that they've got a message from you. Um, sometimes very handy if you need to get hold of somebody and can't, um, at least then you know that actually Teams is going to do the legwork for you. So that's priority, basically. You've then got attachments. You can attach... Um, messages to uh, or attach documents to your messages um and then you get into fun stuff so we've got uh, emojis and gifs that we can use just uh, click on him and uh, edit it in um same with gifs take your pick let's send andy a, a pizza shall we there we go um and then you've also got um, stickers. So these kind of three here are just for fun, images, gifts, and stickers. Um, but get, getting back to the more serious things, you can schedule a meeting at the same time. So let's uh, delete this little lot. Um, so if you go to schedule a meeting, you'll be taken to a kind of fairly familiar calendar type view where you can fill in details, date, time, etc., as required. And that'll add that into your Outlook calendar and their Outlook calendar, as well as their Teams calendar. Right. Um, you can, uh, yeah, have a look through those options. They're all fairly self-explanatory. But um, like I say, it's just a uh, chat is an informal way of sending messages quickly between one-to-one uh, -one or one-to-many people a conversation on the other hand is something that happens within a team so if we head over to our teams um and we'll just jump into the uh, newsletter here we go there was that message that i had with ian earlier um and i'm just going to write a message now um I can add a subject line, so, so printing delayed. Um, then I can at mention somebody, so I can say at Andy. So he is going to get notified that he is within this message. Um, if you So if you need to ensure that somebody definitely sees a message, perfect way of doing it there. So Andy, um, just to let you know, we have delayed printing this edition. Um, that's it. That would start a conversation. So I'll send that. You can see there, 
<clears throat> it puts the subject as a larger heading. You got a message there. So in the conversation view, you can reply to messages to keep them all in threads and keep it neater. So you can see there the one above. The conversation between Ian and I is all within one thread from here to there. And then so you group the conversation, um, particularly useful when things get a bit busier within Teams. Um, because within chat, if we go head back to that, we can't group uh, chat messages by conversation. They are literally um, kind of time ordered. Uh, so if you end up replying to a message that you saw you missed 15 minutes ago, you'll mostly just confuse people um, as to what you're actually talking about. Head back into Teams. Um, and actually, I will uh, go off slightly into files again for a minute, because actually what I want to do here is um, upload a few files to the Advertising Materials channel. Uh, so I go into the channel, select it there, go on to Files. And as you can currently see, there's nothing there. So I actually have some designs for adverts that um, have been created. And I will share with the team. So I'm literally just going to drag and drop those into Teams, and they will start uploading. Um, there we go. You can see the folders are there. And then if we go actually within the folder, we can see that in there there should be, there we go, there's um, the files that are in there as well. Now, one of the useful things within the team and the conversation, if we just go back to that, I can now tag individual files within a conversation. So if I say, uh, again, I'm going to mention Andy. Uh, I'm also going to mention Ian um, because you can mention multiple people. Uh, and then using the attachment there, I am now sorry, using the pay-per-click icon, I'm going to say actually browse to a team and channel. And actually, I'm going to go to the Facebook ads folder and uh, I'm going to select this uh, this one here. And then if you click share link, what that actually does is put that into the conversation. There we go. So I've tagged two people. I've um, written a little message. Um, and also it just, well, if I send that, you'll then see that now actually they don't have to go hunting for that file that I'm, I'm kind of talking about. So whether that be a Word file, Excel file, whatever it may be, um, they can then literally just click on this document and it will open. Um, so no hunting around in Teams or channels to where the file is um, or any miscommunication about what file is meant. They can literally just, uh, if I do there, click on it and it will open. I mean, this is a, a image picture um, that comes up there. But if that were a Word document or Excel document, you can literally start editing that document from within Teams as well. So really, really useful uh, and really handy there. There you go. And is replied within the uh, conversation there. He likes the dub one too. <laughs> cool. So that's the difference between chat and Teams. Um, within the chat and Teams element, there isn't just the instant messaging side of things. There is also um, video calling uh, and audio calling, uh, which I'll cover in another video very shortly. See you then.